Fish Cheeks by Amy Tan. I fell in love with a minister's son the winter I turned 14. He was not Chinese, but as white as Mary in the manger. For Christmas, I prayed for this blonde-haired boy, Robert, and a slim new American nose. When I found out that my parents had invited the minister's family over for Christmas Eve dinner, I cried. What would Robert think of our shabby Chinese Christmas? What would he think of our noisy Chinese relatives who lacked proper American manners? What terrible disappointment would he feel upon seeing not a roasted turkey and sweet potatoes, but Chinese food? On Christmas Eve, I saw that my mother had outdone herself in creating a strange menu. She was pulling back, um, she was pulling veins out of, out of the black backs of fleshy prawns. The kitchen was littered with appalling mounds of raw food, a slimy rock cod with bulging eyes that pleaded not to be thrown into a pan of hot oil, tofu which looked like stacked wedges of rubbery white sponges, a bowl of soaking dried fungus back to life, a plate of squid, their backs crisscrossed with knife markings so they resembled bicycle tires. And then, they arrived, the minister's family, and all my relatives, in a clamor of doorbells and rumpled Christmas packages. Robert grunted hello, and I pretended he was not worthy of existence. Dinner threw me into deeper despair. My relatives clicked the ends of their chopsticks and reached across the table, dipping them into the dozens or so plates of food. Robert and his family waited patiently for platters to be passed to them. My relatives murmured with pleasure when my mother brought out the whole steamed fish. Robert grimaced. Then my father poked his chopsticks just below the fish eyes and plucked out the soft meat. Amy, your favorite, he said, offering me the tender cheek, fish cheek. I wanted to disappear. At the end of the meal, my father leaned back and belched loudly, thanking my mother for her fine cooking. It's a polite Chinese custom to show you are satisfied exclaimed my father to our astonished guest. Robert was looking down at his plate with a reddened face. Face. The minister managed to muster up a quiet burp. I was stunned into silence for the rest of the night. After everyone had gone, my mother said to me, You want to be the same as American girls on the outside. She handed me an early gift. It was a miniskirt in beige tweed. But inside, you must always be Chinese. You must be proud you are different. Your only shame is to have shame. And even though I didn't agree with her then, I knew that she understood how much I had suffered during the evening's dinner. It wasn't until many years later, long after I had gotten over my crush on Robert, that I was able to fully appreciate her lesson and the true purpose behind our particular menu. For Christmas Eve that year, she had chosen all my favorite foods.